All right, so Allen block is a hollow core block, and so that begs the question, what the heck do you put into it, and uh, why is it a hollow core block? So uh, making it a hollow core makes it a little bit easier to handle. Um, the big ones are already 75 pounds without any uh, uh, infill concrete in them, so it makes it a little bit easier to handle, and then it adds to the structure of the wall. So um, hollow core block versus solid core block. Uh, the nice part about it, so, uh, is that you're going to have a infill that's going to give you vertical interlock between everything. So kind of like think about like doing like a vertical rebar with concrete in the middle. Um, this is kind of the same type of thing except for we're using rock. So what should you put into it? Uh, I'm just using a one inch crushed rock. Uh, you want to make sure that it doesn't have any uh, like fines uh, of like sand or, or clay or anything like that in there. Um, just because you want to be able to have this drain easily. So the wall, the, the wall rock provides vertical interlock here provides a little bit easier drainage going out. It's not going to uh, be able to get any water in it and, and expand and put uh, hydrostatic pressure on the wall. And then that wall, um, that wall rock actually comes out behind the wall as well for about a foot. You're going to compact it going up. Um, uh, also ties your uh, uh, geogrid layers together. Uh, in this case, we're not using geogrid. We're under, uh, we're only doing uh, uh, about a two and a half foot wall. But uh, yeah, that's basically what goes inside of the uh, Allen block wall. And you're doing it on every course as you go up and uh, uh, compacting in behind.